Hello everyone! In today's video we are going to make this granny square. As I call it, it's a granny to infinity. It means that you can make as big as you like. For example, you could make a baby blanket or bigger project. So the one things that we are going to do today is only five rounds of this granny because if you want to make it bigger you're going to repeat only the fourth and the fifth round. You will find all the materials I used in the description box below. So let's get started. We start with a magic ring. We make inside the magic ring double crochet. So first double crochet, one single crochet, one chain. We make four more double crochet, Two chains, five more double crochet, two chains. You repeat this pattern two more times and I will meet you there. I'm almost at the end. I make my last two chains. So far we have four groups of five double crochet separated each one by two chains. At this point I'm going to slip stitch into that chain on top of the single crochet that we made when we started. In this way. Now I'm going to into the next stitch from the back, I insert the hook, I pick up this loop and I pull through the back. Now we can start the second round. We are going to make it from here where we are, we are going to make one double crochet which is one single crochet one chain double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch now here we need five the last one we're going to make it when we finish our round into the corner we are going to make three double crochet two chains and three more Now here we are going to work our five double crochet. Be careful here because of all the stitches that we put in the corner, the first stitch it may be covered. So you move a little bit your stitches so you can see that the first one is here. So we make one. two, three, four, and five. In the corner like we did before, three double crochet, two chains, three double crochet, and then five double crochet. You repeat this pattern all the way around and I will meet you before the end. 
I'm almost at the end. I worked my last corner. Now we need our last stitch, the one that we didn't work when we started. So I'm going to make a double crochet and we can close our round slip stitch into that chain on top of the single crochet that we made before. That's how it looks like. Now from here go back and make a single crochet and a chain. This is our first double crochet then one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch now here we are going to make three chains we skip four stitches one two three four we go into the corner and we work our corner like we did before three double crochet two chains three double crochet now here is the pattern that you're going to follow from now on you make three chains We skip four, included the one that is hidden here, one, two, three, four, and we work three double crochet in three different stitches. In this way, we make three more chains. We skip four, one, two, three, four, and we work the corner. And that's all you need to do for round number three. You're going to repeat this pattern. And I will meet you before the end. I'm almost at the end of round number three. I made my last two, uh, three chains and now we can slip stitch into the first stitch that we made when we started in this way. Now we can start round number four into the same stitch. We go back and we make single crochet and one chain next stitch double crochet next stitch double crochet and we have a three three on top of the three that we made before now we make three chains and here we have too much space to go working in the corner so here we are going to work on top of this three double crochet so we are going to make one two and three we work the corner like we did before this is not going to change all the way through the pattern. You always work three double crochet and two chains in the corner. After our corner, we are going to work our three double crochet like we did on this side so I'm going to find the one that is hidden one two 
and 3. We make 3 chains. Now we are going to work 3 double crochet on top of the 3 double crochet that we made in the previous round. again three chains now here we work in the corner our three double crochet and then we work the corner that's how it looks like that's the pattern that you're going to repeat for round number four I'm almost at the end of round number four I made my last three chains and we're going to slip stitch into the chain that we made when we started in this way now we can start around the number five from here where we close we're going to make our single crochet and chain next stitch double crochet next stitch double crochet we make our three chains And here we are going to work three double crochet in three different stitches. One, two, and three. We make three chains and we skip this three stitches and we go to work our corner which is three double crochet two chains three double crochet in this way now we make three chains we skip three stitches one two three and we work three double crochet into the next three stitches chain three we work our three on top of the three that we made in the previous round three chains and we go to work here three double crochet one two three three chains again and we go to work the corner and this is the pattern that you need to follow for round number five I'm almost at the end of round number five I made my last three chains and I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain of the first stitch now like I said before you can make it bigger as you like what you're gonna do is to repeat and alternate two rounds round number four and number five so after if you want to make a round number six you're going to make a round number four seven you repeat round number five and so forth and so on you can make as big as you like in this case i'm going to make just a border with the single crochet so i'm going to start into the next stitch 
and I'm going to make my single crochet. I'm going to make a single crochet around for each stitch one single crochet and in each space three single crochet in this way. In the corner I'm going to make two single crochet one chain and two single crochet. I'm going to finish this border and I will meet you there. I'm at the end of the border round and now we can slip stitch into the first single crochet and we can cut the yarn We are going to weave in the end, of course, that's how it looks like. If you want, you can block it to make it straight or you can ironing them. That's how it looks like and I really hope you like this video. If it's so, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!